Oh, and this is my deck list video for my magical deck that I've used in one of my videos that I uploaded yesterday. And I'm just gonna go have a quick run through and explain why they're in there if I feel they need to be explained. First off, free Battle of the Books of Spell. They search for Books of Spell cards, which is half the deck basically. Delg the Dark Monarch to give access to level 6 XEs, and also it's a spellcaster which can be summoned with temper and has a great effect to remove two cards from your opponent's graveyard and then make them mill. Bad point that it can't attack on the turn it summons, but oh well. 3 4 is the Magical Warrior. It's great for opening up level 4 and higher XEs players. Like, yeah, after using its effect for two turns, it can be exceeded with Delg or any other fours that I might have at that level. Um, Junon is the level 7, basically what I like to think of as the Mass Hyperion for Magicals. You reveal three books of spells from your hand and you can special summon her. And once per turn you can ba banish a book of spell spell from your hand or the graveyard to destroy something. Which is quite cool, and also allows access to the boss Xyz monster that's part of the magical set. Summon the monk. There's, as you can see, there's 20 spells in this deck, so it's quite good in the deck for um its effect. The fact that there's so many spells doesn't really hurt, especially when I'm if I'm just get rid of a grim. That's just a search. Temper is, allows me to easily special summon Delg or Junon from my deck, and that's pretty much it. That's the, pretty much the entire reason why it's in there. Dark Hull and Heavy Storm are both staple magical dimension to. Sorry, magical dimension allows me to easily special summon any spell cost I want and it allows me to destroy something at the same time. Monster Reborn staple. Pop duality pretty much staple, let me search for anything. Whilst they're special summon a lot, it doesn't hurt me to go for one turn without special summoning usually. Green Book of Spell is searching for more books of spell cards. Hygromante books of spell um, increase the a power of a spellcaster by a thousand until the end of the turn and if it destroys a monster this turn then you can add a book of spell from your deck to your hand but it's got the limitation of only one being able to be used per turn just the same as Grim. Necronomicon books of spell it's premature burial for magic for spellcasters. Find your spellcaster in your graveyard and reveal a book spell from your hand to special summon a spellcaster in, onto your field in attack position and increase its level by the number of the monster that you've banished. The Torah Books of Spell make it make a spellcaster in the field invincible to spells and or tra and or well spells or traps for the turn. Wonder Wand, five hundred attack or discard or destroy the monster it's equipped to as well as this card to this draw two cards. Gaia Shield protect monsters from things like Dark Hole and Torrential and anything they can throw at you that might destroy things. Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning because it's a Solemn Regard. Torrential at two because it's Torrential. Exprojet, Gachi Gachi, just in case there's Battels on the field that I really don't want to be there and I can't find any way to get rid of them. Leviathan and Zen Mains for Temper or Battel if I want to increase its level with Forza's effect. And yeah, they're pretty much self explanatory. Photon Butterfly Assassin, which is just personal tech, last minute tech choice that I've just changed Gemini Pearl into. It can change the monster from defen defense to attack and make it lose 600 attack, uh, which is quite cool, especially when staring down something strong if you beat in defense. Steel Swarm Roach is Steel Swarm Roach. I don't know, 
not yeah, it's not usual for me to want to use it, but it's got its moments. Utopia two because it's Utopia, Utopia Ray, in case I somehow get their Utopia or in case my Utopia is running low on Steam. Adrias can keep of Armageddon and Tyrus keep of Genesis because they're both rank five Xyz. For when Force has been leveled up to five, if I want to quickly save it or just get a way to destroy things on the field. Gaga, Ga no, Maggie, Maggie, Magician Girl. I keep trying wanting to call her Gaga Ga for Delg or anything that I've increased level by with Force. It's a brilliant spellcaster, Xyz. You can activate one or two effect once per turn. Take control of a monster until the end phase, or special summon a monster in your opponent's graveyard. It's quite good and quite cheeky at the same time, and I like it. Photon Streak Bouncer, another rank, my other rank 6. Once per turn, the, the, when an effect monster, the effect is negated, on your, no, activated in your opponent's field, negate it and inflict a thousand damage, and it's got 2-7 attack as well. My, higher, uh, no, not there. Higher on the magical Hierophant. Two level 7 spellcasters. It's the magical Xyz monster. And let's just destroy spell or traps in your yeah, on your opponent's field for every book of spell that you have in your graveyard. So a plus for if you can't manage to recycle it with Force's effect. Number 11 big eye. Two seven, level 7 monsters. Once per turn you can detach one Xyz monster from this card too. Target one more until your opponent controls and take control of it permanently. Big guy can't attack that turn, but it's not exactly too big a cut installation because you can still attack with your put the monster that you've just taken. The side deck is a bit half made because I don't really make side decks usually. I just put some stuff in it if I need to. I've got two effect veilers because in case I go up against something like Insectors or Wind Up or something that I don't like. Gagaga Magicians, just level increasing in case I'm finding it hard to get my Xyz on. Lamar, I put in there because it was originally in the deck but I swapped it for Junon, but simply because it's never its effect has never been helpful. It allows you to special summon a level 4 or lower spellcaster from your hand by revealing the book of spell, for those who don't know. It's okay, but yeah. 2D prism. Basically, if my Gargash. Basically, for when I make the deck in real life, because Gargash Shield might not be out yet by then, so just swap in the D prisms and it's fine. The second Leviathan Dragon probably could be an acid golem. Shock Ruler, Shock Ruler, and the second Hierophant. And that's pretty much it for my magical deck overview. Deck list. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, see you around.